We begin tonight with reaction to last week's announcement that work has been stopped on the main cable stay portion of the new Harbor Bridge. Our Brian Burns spoke with local leaders about the prospect or the prospect of a, a long delay in tonight's top story. The construction pattern changes almost daily and you never know exactly which lane you're supposed to be in. And I, like many other people, have ended up going toward Portland instead of downtown Corpus Christi at least once or twice. So it is an aggravation and, and it is dangerous. City Council Member Mike Pusley says he thinks motorists have put up with the traffic nightmare long enough. And he doesn't understand why TxDOT isn't sharing their concerns about safety on the bridge. Uh, they haven't shared any additional information with the city. I checked with the city manager and he said they haven't contacted him. So I'm a little disappointed at that, Brian. I think the state of Texas owes the city of Corpus Christi and the people here in this community an explanation of what's going on. We did reach out to TxDOT for more information, but they had nothing more to offer. We also tried to contact Flatiron Dragados for comment, but they have not responded. We also checked with business leaders on North Beach who are directly impacted by the construction, which has already closed one of the exit ramps to the area. Jesse Gilbert, president and chief executive officer of the Texas State Aquarium, says they often check with visitors on any problems getting to North Beach. If there are issues, maybe we can help with some signage along along the route. But so far, things, uh, given the, the vastness of this construction project, people are actually moving quite well. When making the announcement last week, engineers with TxDOT say safety concerns, especially with a cable stayed portion of the bridge, are the reason for the stop, but did not elaborate. TxDOT told us they asked the developers to fix those design issues before continuing work Still no indication of how long the delay might be. Brian Burns, 3 News. Meantime,